He's going to find this water, so he can keep building. He drilled it. He didn't care if he fell water or not. He drilled a well. He didn't find nothing. But they well, they shouldn't have approved this building. building. That's the village. They right. shouldn't have approved this building if he had no water. What? What did they approve his buildings for? Because, well, because he kept building houses. He put the whole, whole development in. Well, new, nothing's all new been built if it's not approved here. That was, that was approved by the village. Not this board. Well, not that board. It was the village board. Right. Right. And then you wonder why people were debating. No, and, and you bring up a good point. I think Donna um, conversation a few weeks ago after a meeting. Okay, the old planning boards, the old village board, I don't know about the ZDA, used to make decisions without council present. It hasn't happened, and it's not going to happen. All right, we're not going to vote on something that is not in the best interest, regardless of what the lawyers advise the village decides. And, and, and that's a good point, but it all circles back to having a professional to give you those recommendations. Do you realize how many hours we're spending in here? And this is all retroactive. Why? Because we're not proactive. We're not developing the plan. And if someone can up there and just tell me why we're not hiring a planner, and why aren't we going into the comprehensive plan, and why aren't we having public meetings? You and I had this zone. discussion several times. You can have a master plan where you want. doesn't mean they can't ask for a variance. You're right. Do it. But variances okay. are the most limited thing you want to give away. Because once you do that, you I open up Pandora's box. You move a lot line, everybody will get a lot line moved. Because there's no way for you to stop it. I, don't, However, I, I would disagree if, with that, but go ahead. Well, well continue. Then, you know, between the yeah. Well, it just goes back to having the zones torn apart and right. rebuilt. And why aren't we doing it? Why? I need an answer. I just Because I, we do this every six months, every year. We have the same conversation. And now we're six, oh, going on seven years with the same same story. Is there a reason we're not hiring a planner to do it? No, we're going back thing? to 1995. We did it. It was done in 95. So 15, 20 years. Be done you love years. talking about the past, Joe. Every five well, years. Well, we, we are in 2022. And well, we're talking about the past. She mentioned flooding. Right. It happened in 2000. When was Irene flooded? 11. 11. So we're, we're concerned about flooding. Well, the last time it actually happened was 2011. What the heck does that mean? Okay. Well, you said you, I keep going back in history. Yeah. I'm talking about today. I'm talking about the comprehensive plan. Well, and maybe you can lead us with the comprehensive plan. Okay, give us a budget, and I will get somebody aboard to do it. What, what financially are we, is, state is the village in right now? Good. What does that mean, though? How much do we have in our bank account? Yes. <laughs> really? Yeah. Um, I could go look. It's well over a million dollars. We're not in debt. No. At debt as far as what? A deficit. No. So again, you're talking, you don't know what you what you're actually saying. So somebody's no, no, feeding asked. you information. I, no, no, okay? no, no. That was a question. Okay. I really didn't know. Right, I'm well, asking. Now you know. <coughs> Why would we be in a deficit? I do. I'm just asking because if we do have money and we can do certain things, why aren't we doing them? Like what Jean just said about maybe purchasing. It's a budget. It's a budget. It's a budget. We would have to go for a referendum on that. Sure. All right, and we would be more than happy to go for a referendum on, on certain projects. Okay, and if, if the village, I don't know the process of it. Was that? The lady in the back keeps raising her hand. Yes, I'm sorry. One major thing that we should be doing is calling on FEMA. A little louder, I'm sorry. FEMA is the Federal Emergency Flood People, and they have all kinds of resources. They will bring you some impressive type of people, explain what's going on here. We should open it up to all of the citizens of the village, not just boards. They had those resources. I am a licensed flood broker, so I know this stuff. Mm -hmm. But I'm not an engineer, and I don't do the ratings. The ratings change. The flood ratings aren't up. The flood zones have changed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you think this is um, a joke, it's one of the toughest things to flood. All the brokers in New York right now are mandatory.
sure and they have to get blood, certified blood, because it's a big problem. Also, we need to know the system. Does the duties of each board, how they mix or how they separate? Because we have problems. We want to know what the hell is going on. What problems? But people will get involved once they know how to do it. It's very easy. And I'm Pat Mitchell, and I'm on your place. Pat Mitchell and? Pat Mitchell on your place. Your place. Excuse me. To the point of like the last time we had a storm. Okay. Your picture is in the paper here. Yeah. There, Bucko. On September 9th, 2021, you were with Sean Patrick Maloney. This was Ida. Uh -huh. um, Believe me, it wasn't my choice to be in a picture with him. Uh, <laughs> he wanted a picture with me. There. Nonetheless, we were talking about when was the last storm? The last storm was a year ago. Okay. In terms of doing flooding damage. So that's that's the point. I mean, you know, we're kind of bickering back and forth about it, but it's the reality, and it, it yeah. does happen more frequently than we care to have. For it to happen. That's not that bad a picture. <laughs> yes. Um, you know, you sat here, and um, I know most most boards have professionals that they hire to advise back and forth. I can't tell you how many times I have been in here in both ZBA meetings and planning board meetings, and our engineer that is supposed to be advising our board on how to respond is directly advising applicants. I'm sorry, I have a problem with that. He reports to the boards, not to the applicants. Can I add something to your point? It was very, I wasn't able to be at the last meeting, but I was able to listen to it on YouTube. And you know what? Sometimes when you're not watching it directly and you hear the tone of the voice, the condescending tone, it was unbelievable. So my question was going to be, who is paying this person? Is it coming from us or from the applicant? The engineers for the the for village engineer for the village, 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 village. It's done by it's paid for by the applicant. But retrospectively, it's 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 an escrow that's he's out. he's ours. Like he, yeah. so like the tone and not watching what was going okay. on. I no way. I wouldn't trust. So I'm sorry, but if it's paid by the applicant, is he looking out for the applicant's interest or ours? That's standard practice. The applicant pays the village as part of their fees for the consultant that the village hires. So it's part of that process. For the engineer is a village consultant. He's not the applicant's consultant. They have their own engineers. Mm -hmm. He is paid. Like, I get it because it's like buying a house. Yeah. You know, everything gets paid after the fact. So, but just the tone of it, I was like, wow. He's nasty. <laughs> Downright. And the way when, when the residents ask questions, I mean, I, I would, if you weren't here, I would say watch it just to see. Maybe I'm crazy, but honestly, I, I just, I didn't get that feeling that he was for the residents. It sounded like it was a done deal. So I can see how people would be upset. It probably sounded that. I'm not saying it is. I'm not saying it is. But from the way that discussion went. Perception. Yeah, exactly. perception is 95%. Exactly. Right? So if, how well, many views you have on that video? Yeah. Yeah. I can see okay, why they're saying Thank you. Thank you for bringing that up. You could have called earlier and we could have addressed it. You know, and that's really what, what we keep but urging. But it's open. And, it's know, only, it's so open. open, but I'm here all the time. I'm not, not going to be here down. tomorrow or Thursday. I'm not, you know but, what? I you know, know it's not we urge yet. residents to call to talk to one of us. But I also think it's good to do it in this That's a lobby forum. us. No, I'm not lobbying. Okay. No, I, know that. I think it's good to do it in this open forum. I really do. Because, you know what? 
what you're feeling may not be what I'm feeling. Maybe okay, I hear fair. it a different way. That's fair. So, you know, yeah, we can have the offline conversation, but I also think doing it in a forum here with our other residents is extremely important. Because I think having a discussion over here and having a discussion over here is not working. We need to hear the same tone at the same time, at the same time, time yeah. with the same language. Yes. So no, I'm not going to call the village unless I have a really pressing matter. Yeah, I'll call you back. Right. But other than that, I'll bring it here and state my feelings. You could call and say hello. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I work too. <laughs> You know, just, just to clarify a couple things, at the, uh, the planning board meetings, it's a public meeting, we're really not supposed to get the response, so it does create this kind of hostile wall yeah. where, you know, I'm sitting up there and it's kind of like, damn, I really want to answer that, but I can't, and everybody's pissed off, but it's fine, the meeting's over, and then they leave and nobody stops to, to talk, maybe one or two, so I can understand how somebody can feel that way, because, it, and, and again, I express that, that I, I like the question and answer and the interaction. The way the other meetings are held with the planning board is everybody gets to talk for three minutes, we get to listen for three minutes, and then next. Mm -hmm. So there isn't this interaction that we're having here, which I do think is great. Right. So the format of that meeting, who, who decides that's the format of the meeting? Because that is like, I mentioned it the other day, that's off the charts. So unusual. It was a regular hearing. Either a public hearing's got to be two, that's a public hearing. No. It was a what? it was a comment. It was for comments. No, 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 no. Then don't call it a public hearing because a public hearing means I'm coming here to talk to you and you're going to talk to me. I'm not having talking to a third party attorney making notes and getting back to me two months later with what he wants to fill out. It's insanity. And he sits up there. He should be able to answer the questions. I don't want to put you on the spot, Sonia. What kind of meeting was it? Was this for comments? It was a work we, session. We used to have meetings here. Oh, yes, it's 1970. Dave's what? Can we get, I'm sorry, you interrupted Selena. She was talking. If we all night, we'd be there talking everything out like everybody was supposed to be here the other day. I wasn't here the last meeting because I had an ambit. I'm a life limit at death. It's a far more of Washington. Can you please let Selena answer? The last meeting was a work session, but the agenda item was a public hearing. And how is that supposed to work? So what are the comments different? I was advised by council that it is the time for the public to speak to the board members and the applicant and to let them know their questions and to let them know their comments so that the board and the applicant and our council and engineer can listen, evaluate, and advise the applicant to make changes or take every, you know, additional things into consideration, but I was advised that it is not a Q&A session. It's to gather information from the public so we can act accordingly, whatever the application is, and advise the applicant to potentially make changes or make some considerations based on the public's comments. So that seems to be driven by the attorney, which is, again, I don't know where she's pulling it out of or the reason why she'd be doing it, because that's basically two meetings in a row where we had public hearings, but it's not a public hearing. Accomplished nothing. If you're not getting any response from the board. The public hearing has been left open, though, and it's continuing to be left open so that right. the public can have as many opportunities as possible to be present and to have their comments heard. Because I don't believe I made it to the paper on time for the first one, which is why we didn't close it, which is why it was adjourned and held open, which is why it is still held open, so the public can continue to submit their comments and attend the next meeting, which would be at a bigger venue. Correct. The only, the only missing link in that, Lena, is just the conversation Un Understood. And I'm only <coughs> telling you what I know I what she told, said, and then and somebody must have had a bug in her ear to tell her that at the end of the day. Possibly, and certainly I can ask and her. Um, but they are responding to comments in writing. They did set up a Dropbox link, a Dropbox link at the request of myself and the attorney. It was sent to the webmaster to be posted online. So at any time when studies are completed, when more information is available, they will update it in real time. You will have to check it weekly, daily, however often you choose. But it is to be transparent and to make documents available to the public to view, right. as well as their responses to the public's comments and questions. That's what that was my question. I was my name is Patty Rogers. I'm uh, Kenzer Circle. I was at both meetings. The first meeting, they said, "Oh, the next time you come, whatever date, it's August 9th, you'll get your answer." 
who came, they were like, oh, we don't have your answer. Right. They're going to be supposed to. I don't know, they never told us where. In the second meeting, same thing. Everybody their voiced their opinion and their questions. And once again, we were told, oh, you get your answers wherever. So, I mean, we come out to, to, to come and to find out answers. And you're saying it's miscommunication, misinformation? Do you understand why? why? It's no, he's giving us any answers. Right I have the answers, and I will post them. Okay, but that's not I good. I have to go through the attorney to get them. But, but, but my point is, we are trying to be involved and in trying to get our voices heard for the good of our lives in our village. And it just feels like, it does feel like it's you guys against us. That's the way it feels. I feel like the trust has gone down the tubes, and, and then we have to do something about it because people are really getting upset. And the next meeting, are we going to get enough, from, when the meeting goes to the schools, are we going to get enough notice, or is it going to be that day when we said, okay, this is on the agenda tonight and we're going tomorrow. We need time to get people to rally Team Washington. I'm going to, you're talking about the next time. this <laughs> village board meeting at whatever we're going to do the big meeting where we're going to at talk the, at about the, the at ball. the middle school and high school. As soon as we get a date, you will be notified of the date. Okay, and the one thing that will be on the agenda for sure will be 23 South Street. Right, but and we would have to do day. other business. Hopefully, it's not that long. The other business, but other business will have to be done first. But you could assure. Be assured that 23 South Street will be on uh, the next meeting. But we just need enough notice. Okay. Yes. So I'm I'm a Girl Scout leader, and I had uh, meet before COVID. I had meetings at the school district. So you fill out a form online, right? It's not an overnight process. Like I don't fill it out today, and tomorrow they tell me, oh, you got a room. So what happens is it goes from the school dude, it goes to buildings and grounds, and then they filter it over to the building principal. They look at the calendar in the building. It goes through all these different steps. So I just want everybody to be aware of that. So you're not saying, oh my God, it's Friday. We haven't heard. It, there's a no, process. Tommy saying... said they told you two weeks, right? No, I'm not saying you're saying that, but I just, I like everybody. Remember Sims, an educated consumer is your best customer? I believe in that. So just so that you're familiar with the process, it takes, it's not overnight. Donna, they told you two weeks? They told me two weeks. Yeah, process. so it's not an overnight thing. No. So if you're expecting us to tell no, you on but Friday. No, we did talk about it almost two months ago. Yeah, but I'm just telling you. And like, so if, if you do scouts or if you do something or a club or a sport, you know it's a two week process. Just FYI, as a resident. But I, also, I if they allow you to use the building, they, if they allow you to use the building, they can turn that around at any minute if there's an event in the school, because the school events take priority over. Yeah, they take precedent over anything else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is each board going to try to make it into a larger venue? Is that something that has to be done? Yes. So I think it's important have, that each board will have its request of opportunity yes. to try to get into yes. a larger. And we will try to keep it as as close to the mm -hmm. present day of the month mm -hmm. as we could. Like I said, the village board. If we wanted to reschedule a meeting, we have to worry about the courts, all right, and so forth. If we go to the high school, we have to worry about back to school night, but just don't go. Back to school night, they're going to tell you the same stuff that they told you last year. So I was a teacher one, for 20 years. So same thing. Each board is going to request separately then for, for the venue? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. It's going to come out of uh, Village Hall with the planning board attorney, will set it up. Liz Cassidy, who is his only board attorney, we hired her as the lead lawyer, lead attorney for 23 South Street. Okay. So you, you're going to see her in, in, both, in both venues. But the ZBA, the meetings, I'm, I'm glad that meetings are happening. Because nothing was happening. Okay, because no one was doing anything. All right? Look how many people are here tonight. This is probably all of last year's attendance at the village board meeting. Double. <laughs> um, might have been a different time in life because of COVID, but or other circumstances, or no, even before COVID. Six, six, seven. You know, I hate to say it like that, but obviously it's a big issue. You know, yeah, whether it's it be here or now, and, and that's why we're not discussing in depth. We, we want a bigger venue. We're not. You know, I think we all need to agree. You know, it's okay to agree to disagree, okay? But we don't have to be disagreeable, okay? So, 
I love the fact that everyone is here asking questions. I love that everyone at planning boards asking questions. Um, I think it's it's great. I think we have to straighten it up, and, and it's a conversation that has to be had with the attorney. Getting to what you mentioned, I picked that up, I think. Uh, and I did say, you know, ease up. Um, but no one is looking to put anything over on anyone. No one is. Can I just make a comment regarding that? And I, I want to believe that, but here's part of the problem. I have been told from you, which is fine, the protocol, because I would, I would email one board and not get a response. So then I'm told to email another board, which I do. So the zoning board and planning board, other than somebody who gave out their own email, still doesn't have the emails. Then I was told um, it's the building department. The building department, I have not gotten a response from. Even the boards, I cc I, You know who responded to me? The attorney. That's where I got the answer. Everything from. Was, was to go into, and this was a recent decision. Everything goes into the uh, building department. And they take zoning board questions, planning board questions, village board questions. Okay, today I got a lot of emails regarding 23 South Street. Okay, I, you thought you had a fan club. Um, and that's, it's the one place. And then they will send it to the attorney for that particular board, all right, who will give it to the chairperson of that particular board. At least you think that's what happened. <laughs> I, uh, like I said, the only response I got was actually I emailed, and you know I had requested the email because she, she gave it publicly, and then a day later I got all the questions answered that I had asked, but going forward, to email the building department, I feel I'm not, I'm not, it's going nowhere. Spinning wheels. And then, on top of it, I was told by our engineer that Half of what I had dressed at the last meeting should go to the ZBA, and then another portion of it should go to the planning board. So, I mean, that, there's a lot to, to be confused about. That's why we, we then implement that everything goes to one spot. Okay, so you're not saying, okay, is this a ZBA question or is this a planning board question? Just send it to the one, uh, one email who will get it to where it has to go. Will it though? It hasn't. You emailed me the other day for the email of the attorney, which I gave to you. Yes. And you said that she got back to you the next day. Yeah, no, that okay. because this is I government. Wrote, that's because I wrote her directly. I emailed her directly. I didn't go through the building department because there were a couple things I said to the building department. I've never gotten a response. Can you send them to? I think I cc everybody up there. Okay. But what did you send them, like, this today? Uh, I don't know. There's been so much done in the I know I did something wrong. The mail date that you sent it to the attorney? What's that? I'm sorry. Who's... Yeah, it's in my email. I mean, I can look it up and get you the dates and what it was regarding. It's just, August, um, okay, August 12th was one. Four days. Four days. On Friday? Um, I think I, re I remember. I did something on that Thursday because I, you got the on Friday. I, I because I got the response on a Friday, so I had to be it had to be Thursday. I'm not I'm not concerned with that case right now because I got my answers. I'm just saying moving forward, just so there's not a breakdown in communication, and you know I don't know who to reach out to. <laughs> Sorry? The building department. Uh, we're still sticking with that? Okay. I guess can I still CC the board? No? You could. Like. Oh, we're sure. not gonna, I'm only going to give it to the building department. And then they will, dis they will disperse accordingly, is yes. what you're saying. Maybe not here in a couple days. We don't make a decision with the planning board. You can, you can let us know what's on your mind, but there's nothing that we're going to do that we can do about it. 
It's a planning form. Or well, zoning. It depends on it depends on the project. Exactly. Yes. Now I would think 23 South Street, if we were if we were to become the lead agency, the village board, then yes, then you would be emailing it to the building department and he would get it to us. But you could uh, cop, you know, copy us on it also. Um, at one meeting, um, not the last one prior to that, I thought you were the lead agency for 23 South. We haven't made any decisions. Or the request. The request. The request. The request. They've, asked, they've requested us, to the village board. And that's not going to be set in stone either. Mm -hmm. I believe our attorney was saying the county could say absolutely not. And back to when I was told by the engineer that it should go to ZBA, there's no emails for ZBA. Still, the building department. Still, the building department. They'll get it to the ZBA. Yes. Uh, we were told by the attorney not to send direct emails to members of the board. The boards, okay? It's she classified it as lobbying. Wait, I'm sorry. So lobbying. No, that you can't send an email directly to another board member. There's no, no, no. reason for me to contact the board member. No, but that we should not post their email addresses on our website. So oh, another okay. so resident said last okay. time, how come you don't have the email no. addresses okay. up there? And we did ask the attorney. And you're... Right. No well, that, and that was great that you guys all now have the .gov emails. You know, that's... Well, we've only we've we've had, had, We did have updates to it, so it dropped off. We, the webmaster apologized. They oh, were okay. making changes to it. They're back on there. Yep. But I believe another resident, I remember it was you, asked why aren't the planning and zoning board members email addresses on there. But the mayor was going to say that that's considered, it could be considered the way that it, an email is used as lobbying. So they highly recommend What about just it. the chairperson of those committees? Just no, to have the she one She could share it to you privately, but know. not publicly. No, none of the other you know. municipalities uh, list the uh, yeah, none of individual the email. Others. Yep, so I would have, and she's good at you know, No, no, no we're, we're saying, saying other online. municipalities do not post the um, planning and zoning board members' email. They don't even have their names have their on their, names their website. website. The town of Blooming Gore, don't, they don't have the names of their zoning and planning board, right? Did you look? No, it's not. I'm looking right now, town of Newburgh. Ethics board. This is the first one I called up. I can go for something else. It has a list of all the members of the ethics board, and there is one email address for the board. One email for the board, right? So one email. They're not individual. To give it to the plan. Uh, Different. But I'm just giving you an example right. there. Right. But we we're asking to streamline it. The best government could send it into. Building. It's building. a building department, one place, and they'll filter it to where it needs to go. Everything starts with the building department. It's them that sends people to the various boards. Is there a timeline? Sorry. Can I just ask a quick question? Um, Mike Bresciano, Lark Street. I was just wondering, if the, uh, if the bus garage, say, doesn't go through because it's zoned residential and, and maybe not B, B, G, B, or whatever it was, um, is there a possibility they can uh, like limit the lot sizes? That if they were to build homes, it would have you know, some type of lot limit, like two acres or something per home, so you wouldn't get such a dense uh, housing population in there? Is there, is there, any, is there anything on the books today that says there is a, a limit. I think other communities have limit, you know, sizes of properties that they can build on. I don't know if Washington built us. It, it, there is in the RA zone. There is one. Uh, I think it's about an acre currently. One acre. I could be wrong, but it's in the, the E code. It's in the. It specifies exactly what it is. There any way to I think it's forty thousand square feet. I think somewhere. Is there any way to consider making it? Larger, possibly, or take that would be a zoning change. A zoning could. change, right? Good question. If we have a million, about, can we hire somebody to do a proper a professional for a comprehensive plan? <laughs> <laughs> Just because you have the money doesn't mean it's spent. That's budget. Well, is it in the budget? Yeah, it's budgeted. The zoning is not. The comprehensive plan is not for this year. We can hopefully put it into next year's budget. This is what it's not. And it's time to tell you it's very expensive. 
So we but it's well worth it because all this time we're here, it's a good thought. talking about can we enlarge it, can we shrink it, all that yeah. stuff would be in the plan. I mean, I know I'm a 45 broken record here, but it is, it's the foundation of what the hell we are. And if we don't do it, this is what happens. We're all running around in circles, and every application that comes in puts more stress on the planning board and zoning board because they are looking for loopholes. Everybody always looks for loopholes. Correct. So we need to shut them down. By waiting a year, doesn't help. Or you at least put the moratorium in place so that that process can begin. You just aged yourself with that reference. Well, I meant the record. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It was before. It was a CD now. It was a CD. 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 Oh, yeah. 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 I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. It's a good trivia. But keep it off, you know, on the rest of the place. Oh, yeah. And any other questions? I just think it's important that everybody knows that we are all residents. And we, you know, yes. So what affects you affects me and everybody else. You know? I think we need to have, yes. No, if we were to do um, renovation of them, and obviously they have to be done, um, it would be more of a stainless steel prison type facility. You know, what gets me with that, and I'm glad you brought that up, we actually had a resident post on Facebook, oh, I saw kids up on the roof, but I really couldn't identify. Now, it makes you wonder, okay, even if you can't identify them, then you think it was okay for kids to be on the roof. Right. Any roof. Okay? This is where we need the, the residents of the village to, to be that other person. The, the police can't be everywhere. Although, everyone wants police, especially if something was to happen to you. Okay, you, you want more police on. Well, we, we have how many driveways? We could have a police officer for every driveway. It's kind of silly though, isn't it? Okay, but the person who, and she hit send. So I, I don't understand it. How someone could not say, why are your kids up on the roof? Hey, let me call the police department. Police department, let me, let me do the right thing. <laughs> my size 12 shoes. Run them, you know, it's, you know, again, to, you know, um, to carry, you know, um, to add to what Trustee Sampson, we're all in this together. We want the open dialogue. Okay? You might not like the answer. But you're never going to be lied to. Never will be lied to. Okay? Let's find the solution. If there's a problem, let's find the solution that everyone could agree to. You know, thing came up, I think I mentioned the referendum. 